132 years ago on March 23rd, 1889, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community Movement was started in Punjaba, British India. On this symbolic day, the newly constructed Ahmadiyya Mosque in Belize City along the George Price Highway is being opened for prayer, though it is not the official inauguration due to COVID. The property was bought some three years ago. Construction was started 15 months ago by 10 to 15 Canadian volunteers for free. We spoke with missionary Atwal Hakkab and the president of the Ahmadiyya community in Belize, Navid Mangla. This mosque is a house of God, so it is not only for uh, Muslims alike, but it's for our Christian, Hindu, and Jewish brothers as well. So it is a place of worship, and it is a place of unity and love. And we also want to thank the government of Belize, the people of Belize, and even the media of Belize, for allowing us to build such a symbol of unity and light and love for God. Um, as you know, the ah, um, Ahmadiyya Muslim community is a community that, a community that is a minority in um, several Islamic states, um, for example, Pakistan. Just recently, they have started to um, uh, assassinate some of our engineers and doctors, and they also demolished one of our uh, mosques in that Islamic State, Pakistan. And so we would like to give our heartfelt um, um, gratitude to the government of Belize, because within Pakistan it is a government sanction and um, persecution. So the government of Belize ha has been so much um, welcoming to the, um, the motto of love for all and hatred for none and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. This mosque that you see um, can accommodate around 200 worshippers and is built on around 7,000 square feet. And the whole property, there's a lot of property at the back too, is about two acres, but we're only um, utilizing one third with the building of the mosque. And we have, we're hoping that in the future maybe we can build a uh, a lab or maybe a, a small clinic or maybe a small school. That's something that, that we definitely hope to do any way that we believe that will be the best way to serve um, the, the, the place where we live in. We would love to do it. On this day, 132 years ago, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad established Ahmadiyya Muslim Community. Since then, the community has spread to 210 territories, including Belize, where a mosque is near completion. Construction started last year, and while it has not been fully completed, local missionary Atul Hakagab says the, most, the mosque is open for who want to pray. This was the day that Ahmadiyya was founded, and today is also the day that we will uh, officially start to utilize the mosque for prayers. This mosque is a house of God, so it is not only for uh, Muslims alike, but it's for our Christian, Hindu, and Jewish brothers as well. So it is a place of worship, and it is a place of unity and love. And we also want to thank the government of Belize, the people of Belize, and even the media of Belize, for allowing us to build such a symbol of unity and light and love for God. Um, as you know, the ah, um, Ahmadiyya Muslim community is a community that, a community that is a minority in um, several Islamic states, um, for example, Pakistan. Just recently, they have started to um, uh, assassinate some of our engineers and doctors, and they also demolished one of our uh, mosques in that Islamic State, Pakistan. And so we would like to give our heartfelt um, um, gratitude to the government of Belize, because within Pakistan it is a government sanction um, persecution. So the government of Belize ha has been so much um, welcoming to the, um, the motto of love for all and hatred for none and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. So we want to thank the government and also thank the people of Belize for being so welcome. The mosque is located on mile one and a half on the George Price Highway. 
If you travel often on the George Price Highway, you may have seen the development of the Mosque of Light at the one and a half mile mark over the last 10 months. The Ahmadiyya Jamaat's Muslims are in the process of relocating to this new mosque, the second in Belize. And with most of the construction finished, they can begin to worship inside and are inviting persons from any religious background to feel free to use the mosque for their own form of worship. The community's president, Navid Mangla, spoke about the uniqueness of the mosque, adding that it was built by volunteers who used their own money. This property was purchased about uh, three to four years ago, and we started the foundation stone of building Masjid Nur, is called. Masjid uh, in English would mean a mosque, um, a, a, a place where you prostrate. And the name uh, was given by our our current leader of the community, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, um, Masjid Nur, meaning the Mosque of Light, um, where whoever comes, they will find uh, light, meaning closeness to the the, you know, the the closeness to God Almighty, or a way to communicate with God Almighty. We started uh, the foundation stone around 15 months ago, and by the grace of God. Um, this has been built in a in a unique way because the people that built it uh, were the Canadians uh, volunteers that had built another mosque in Canada in a in a similar way that uh, because in Islam building a mosque is, is such an honor these are around 10 to 15 volunteers that gave up everything and came on their own accord and stayed here during the whole time the whole pandemic and built this mosque um, with with uh, uh, not charging anything to the community, and they did it from their from their own pocket. So it's, it's very unique in this sense, and it goes goes uh, to say how um, our Jamaat functions. This mosque that you see um, can accommodate around 200 worshippers, and is built on around 7,000 square feet. And the whole property, there's a lot of property at the back too, is about two acres, but we're only um, utilizing one third with the building of the mosque and we have we're hoping that in the future maybe we can build a uh, a lab or maybe a, a small clinic or maybe a small school that's something that that we definitely hope to do any way that we believe that will be the best way to serve um, the, the the place where we live in we would love to do that this is the worship area um, this will be able to house the 200 people and uh, then up there's an office area here for um, said Rabbi Navid and also the library is upstairs and there's a missionary residence and a guest house and a kitchen. So this is the um, area that will be um, utilized for, for men and women. Yeah, for, well for men and women there's a um, woman bathroom there and a male bathroom over here. This is, that is a female entrance and the uh, male entrance. There's two different entrances for the male and the female. Um, as you know, there is something called parda within um, Islam, which um, uh, promotes the separation of men and women. And so you would say that this area would be the woman area and that area would be the male area. The mosque can comfortably fit about 200 people, but with COVID regulations in place, the community is limiting the number of people inside at any given time to about 50. While it's not yet officially inaugurated, the, today the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Belize officially opened its new house of prayer and headquarters at mile one and a half on the George Price Highway. Starting today, the facility will be available for use by not only members of the Muslim community, but also other religious groups that would need a space for worship. The official opening coincides with the day the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat community was founded back in 1889, 132 years ago. This mosque is a house of God, so it is not only for uh, Muslims alike, but it's for our Christian, Hindu, and Jewish brothers as well. So it is a place of worship, and it is a place of unity and love. The name uh, was given by our our current leader of the community, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, um, Masjid Nur, meaning the Mosque of Light, 
um, where whoever comes, they will find um, light, meaning closeness to the the, you know, the the closeness to God Almighty, or a way to communicate with God Almighty. We started uh, the foundation stone around 15 months ago, and by the grace of God, um, this has been built in a in a unique way, because the people that built it uh, were the Canadians uh, volunteers that had built another mosque in Canada in a, in a similar way. This is the worship area. Um, this will be able to house the 200 people. And uh, then up there's an office area here for um, said Murabi Navid and also the library is upstairs and there's a missionary residence and a guest house and a kitchen. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community through its community service arm, Humanity First, has been helping a number of families with pantry since registering as an NGO last year. But there are many other social programs, including sports, which is used to engage the youth across the country. Navid Mangla, president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Belize, says that the two-acre property provides room for further development. We believe that, that uh, for the youth, uh, you can't just tell them not to do something bad. You have to provide an alternative. And sports is one of the best ones to utilize their time in doing, doing something positive. So yes, we're, we're very much anxious uh, to get started with another year of the league. And not only that, in regards to humanitarian services, um, Humanity First has been registered as an NGO and also we, we have also gotten a um, bank account. So we are going to continue in the humanitarian services. I, I have also went to Belmopan and we, we are figuring out a way of how to help people in Belmopan as well. Um, so there are many different ways that we are trying to help in regards to um, um, bettering the, the, the social norm in, in Belize of helping one another rather than seeking to gain something from helping someone.